Here, as you can see, I have a bunch of boxes that we have to unbox because we are revamping where to start. So I purchased these two baskets because I needed them for storage in my washroom. And then I also got these curtains that I want to put up because again, like my, my place is too bright. These are the Hannah Lil curtains. So they are these light sheer linen curtains and I feel like they'd be perfect to kind of filter out the sunlight throughout my apartment because as you can tell right now, I do get a lot of sunlight throughout the day and I'm really unable to work in my living room because it gets too hot and if I were to put my plants where I want to put them, um, they will die with this much sunlight hitting them. So I do feel like I do need some type of curtain to filter out the light coming in. So I have these Rick Tig little pins from Ikea as well and these go kind of like on top of the curtains and with this you get to pleat them however way you want it. into like a better cream rug and so instead of actually getting the rug I got a sample size a sample size of not even the rug that I wanted to that, that I ordered and so I obviously called customer service and they are offering me a better discount for the rug that I have to reorder because again they sent me the wrong one just a little annoyed that everything is not going as planned but on another note my curtains again they are way too short and instead i mean i really only need them to make sure that the sun doesn't hit my plants whenever i put my plants around here right so i'm really debating on whether or not i should keep the curtains or if i should just completely take them down but then again i won't have the option to you know i won't have the option to cover up a little cover up a little bit of the sun so that it doesn't hate my plant. Yeah, so that's what it would look like if I were to cover up like this area right from the sun. But at the same time, this looks so tacky. Like that looks absolutely horrendous. <laughs> and it's not like even just like the quality of the curtains, it's not what I have envisioned in my head. And I thought it would be a little bit longer as well, but it's not. Um, so. So I got this um, floor lamp that I wanted to add into my living space. Baby, I love you, I need you here with me all the time. Maybe we meant to be, you got me smiling all the time. You know how to give me that, you know how to 
is the gar garlic parmesan that I have right now because it's like crispy and dry not like dry but like you know it's a dry rub mm. I also really enjoy the spicy Korean barbecue one and the mango habanero but whenever I'm feeling like a dry rub, I like garlic parmesan. Alright guys, now we're going to move on to our beautiful plant. I bought two new plant pots. So I got both pots from Leaf Envy, which is the same brand as the pot that I have down there. First, so I got this plant plate in white. I just got a normal plant pot with the plant plate. They go together and you put it on top. And so it looks like this. So this is going to be for one of my tiny little plants. And then I also have a bigger plant, which I wanted a bigger pot for. And this one's a little bit different, same color, but dude, literally every time they send it to me, I swear there's like a crack. There is a little crack again. Same as last time, I had to reorder and they had to send me a new one. And then another package that I got for my plants is a plant waterer. So I got this really cute like, hello, it looks like a teapot. But it's to water my plants, so. We are actually, I think I'm going to have to repot my big plant. Those elephant ear baby plants came from the mother plant, which is this mother plant. So I basically already repot it into two other plants, which are these ones. They look absolutely beautiful. Their leaves are healthy, they're shiny, they're glossy. They are getting a bit root bound at the bottom so yeah so i'm just really happy and just want to show you guys kind of what i've done with my elephant ear plants this big one birthed two other ones already and we're gonna separate this into two other plants as well so we get four plants I met this chick and she just moved right up the block from me and uh, She got the hots for me, the finest thing my hood is seen Oh no, no, she got a man in the sun though Oh, when that's okay, cause I wait for my cue and just listen Play my position like a show star Pick up everything, mommy hitting in in no time I, I better make this with her mind And that's for sure, cause I have never been the type to Break up a happy home, but uh, it's something my baby girl I just can't leave alone Tell me, mama, what's it gonna be, she said You don't know what the big plant will go on to the big pot, and then we also have oh, this one will go in here. So pretty. Go right here. Oh my gosh, they're so healthy. I'm so happy. Obviously the rug will be switched out once my rug comes. I was thinking maybe this would be up here. Maybe the other way around, I don't know. Maybe down here. 
here. And then maybe this one here. Or I can put this one down here. I actually don't know. Because I'm this was there and the lamp goes right here. I think from this point of view that needs to be further down for sure because it's huge or I can either put that that one up there and then switch that somewhere else we're gonna do one last haul for the night because I think I'm gonna continue tomorrow and put up the frames that I want to put up I think these are the picture frames so I got these uh what size is this like 20 by 20 picture frames in a set of four so these ones are going to be put up on this wall. So I got my picture frames. Oh my god, so cute! So I got these from Etsy and I ordered a bunch, which I just think is like the cutest thing ever. And then this one as well. So that will be for tomorrow. I'm not gonna do that tonight. Uh, and then so I got my favorite chocolate in the world that I told you guys I was gonna order more of. It came in the mail. And these literally are the best things in the world. Last, I have my Gymshark package because I ordered more gym clothes. Quick um, gym clothes haul. I got this burgundy bralette. And I really like wearing halter bras to the gym, so got two colors. I also got a new um, gym bag, which I'm so happy about because mine is not an actual gym bag. Anyways, good night. And just maybe. gym but got my new gym bag so we're gonna pack it honestly this is more storage than i need carrying my fenty beauty lip stain and my road lip balm for a quick access i have my wallet and my keys on the side pocket camera my airpods my gloves that i sometimes like to use for lifting and then my water bottle that has my lemon water me hugging Obviously, we're gonna do a little grocery haul. I got two bags today. I actually got a lot of fruits and I still need to take my vitamins. I got two packs of green grapes. I don't know why, like I've been craving them lately. So, got those. I really wanna make sinigang, which is a Filipino stew um, because I want something soupy. It's actually really gloomy today, so it kind of fits the vibe. Pork belly for my sinigang and an avocado. Just one. And then I also got Earl Grey tea. We're officially in the fall, so I really want like 
hot tea with like a little bit of oat milk and then a little sweetener. Really, really good. Like something cozy to like drink. I got turmeric, fresh turmeric, and fresh ginger because I'll talk more about it when I make it. And then yeah, more bok choy. I got sourdough bread for my morning breakfast. And then matches for my candles, resealable bags, dish soap, and fabric freshener, antibacterial fabric freshener. As you guys can probably tell, I don't bulk shop when it comes to my groceries. Um, so you see me often going to the grocery and picking something up because I, a lot of things usually spoil when I bulk shop because I forget that I have the ingredient or I have this, have that. So for me, I only usually shop for the next few days because my gym is right beside the grocery store. But um, I really want to make sinigang tonight. So we're going to do that. And then after that, we're going to continue on with our project, my house project. exactly what I wanted. Very happy that it looks exactly what it looked like on the website. Look how adorable. Adorable. It's gonna look so cozy by my walls. So happy. Okay. We're gonna speed up. Speed it up a little bit. Look how 
adorable. Um, so I think the dark one will be in the middle because I want some type of contrast. So I think we're gonna do her, her, and then her all in one row. So, I got this package, cozy and comfy knitted long ass blanket. So it looks like this, which I will put by my couch. So we got our knitted blanket and this is just kind of like a throw for my couch. Um, it is not the best quality, not gonna lie. Also this, I don't know where to actually put it because I kind of just wanted to add as like if I have friends over, they can sit on here and just kind of like chill, right? It's actually comfortable. So these pillows are for that purpose and that purpose only. But again, like I don't really know where to put them because they kind of, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so far this is what we have. I'm really debating on whether or not I should keep the pillows down there um, or if I should kind of sew it somewhere else and keep it somewhere else and then just kind of bring it out whenever I have guests over, but I don't know. But the knitted blanket I love and I love how it kind of adds a little bit of contrast to the carpet. I wish it was like a better quality knit. As you can see, it's not the best quality for what they use to knit it. I've also grown to actually love the curtains on here. It actually also looks nice in the morning whenever it's a little bit too sunny. I have a little bit more privacy and I get to block a little bit of the sunlight. But yeah, it just looks so cozy and I'm so happy with how it turned out. The rug is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted and it's not shedding like my other rug before. Um, so I really like that. And then together with the plants and the lamps, and also adding this floor lamp really added more dimension to my living room, I think. So I already ordered a bulb for that, but overall this is what it's looking like. I'm adding my Ikebana down there, which I think I'm gonna go get flowers at the grocery later. And whenever I eat, I just put some mugs or my treats and a bowl, whatever. Um, and it looks really homey and really cozy. And also this wall, I am literally in love with my new frames. Like they're so cute and super tiny and dainty, which I think just adds to more of the minimalistic approach that I wanted. I really don't know what to do with these two. So when the lamp is all turned on, it looks really nice. But then again, like the chair is not really adding to it as much as I thought it would. I don't know, we're gonna work around this space in this area. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty empty though because I don't really like my living room cluttered. And then another thing that I think I might do around here is that I bought, um, What's it called? Like empty wine glasses. So these ones that I ordered online and I think I'm going to mix and match them. So I've got three of these like bigger ones and then these ones are a little bit more tiny and sculpted. So we're gonna mix and match with them and see. I'm finally getting around to grabbing some flowers for my empty wine glasses. Also first time wearing these really tiny dainty lashes, which I'm not really used to. So I'm not sure how to feel about it. <laughs> Quick little haul of what I got. I got this orange tiny little plant and then I also got these flowers as well. Just a bunch of different colors for the fall time like purple, orange. One thing that I really really love are these, I don't know what they're called, like the poofy green. And then I also got some baby's breath and then another purple one to add more color for my Ikebana. Bit of an update this is what they're currently looking like right now i am so 
freaking happy because look at how beautiful like it adds so much color and dimension to this tiny like empty space down here i might play around a little bit with a placement but for now they just look so good together and 